Hello and welcome to the next part of this tutorial series. Today we're going to be making a hotbar as you can see down here. If I hit the left alt key and press on any of these items, I'm going to be adding them to the hotbar. Now I can actually add them back to the inventory, just the same way I did before. I cannot add more than six items. And if I hover over any of these items in the hotbar, they're still going to be displayed with the item information. And I can also hit the number one key and I'm going to consume this steak. And I can hit the number five key to consume this berry and four and so on and so on to use up the items. Let's get started with the UI. So open up your canvas, which we have in the hierarchy on the top left and right click and let's create a new panel. So panel right here and also switch to the scene view and toggle on 2d like so like this zoom out a little bit and select the rec tool which is your t button and just grab this on the top right and hit alt so it switches from both sides at the same time and just size it down a little bit and i would also open up the inventory parent which will just show us the inventory which we already have created in the previous tutorials and i'll probably size it down a little bit more like so and for the rec transform hit shift and click on the middle one here at the bottom so that we anchor it at the bottom center and now just select your move tool which is also the w button and just move it down a little bit like this this looks good and now we actually want to add a grid layout group so grid layout group like this and we want some kind of buttons in here so let's make a padding of five like always and cell size 70 by 70 and spacing again five by five this should be okay and now we need a different button for the inventory because the inventory uh, slot that we have right here if i drag this bad boy in here into the panel which let's rename this to hotbar if i drag this in here i see the x button which will delete the whole instance of the inventory slot prefab which we do not really want to do so let's actually do this and drag and drop the inventory prefab slot that we have in the hierarchy and just drag and drop this in your prefabs folder and make a original prefab out of it let's rename this the prefab one to let's say hotbar slot and then delete the hotbar slot that we have right here and let's just try it out if it changed now toggle the drop down menu and let's just remove the button like this open the prefab and then just delete the button then go back to the hierarchy and now we have a button and the changes should be applied to this prefab already so if if I drop another one in here it's the same without the button since this is a hotbar we also want a number according to the button that we have to press at the top right so we just right click and make a ui and a text element just select the rec tool and center it at the top right of the button because this is the parent the hotbar slot right here so this is the pivot point the little x in unity and let's recenter the positions to zero and zero and let's make something like 20 by 20 how big is that that's good enough and for the font as always just go over the vault put in a one set it up to something 15 maybe 16 okay that's good center it here center it here and let's add a shadow one one that's good and we probably should change the color a little bit to some kind of grayish and the shadow should be probably white that's good enough how does it look in the game yep that's good some kind of decent little text here and let's go to the hot pass slot right here in the hierarchy go overwrite and apply all so that this prefab changes so now if i drag this bad boy in here i get another one with a one awesome that's actually what we want let's now zoom out a little bit and set up the hot bar because we're not going to dynamically instantiate any buttons right here this is just going to be a static uh, hot bar so just duplicate this a couple of times so let's say one two three four five six times okay that's good toggle all these on and for the text change this to two and so on okay. once we change text from one to six we should probably resize the hotbar accordingly so in here we know that the cell size is 70 by 70. we have spacing and also a padding from top to bottom the size should be 70 plus 5 plus 5 so i can just go in the height and go 70 plus 5 plus 5 and I'll have perfect spacing on the top and bottom, but the sides don't align perfectly. So just here, let's calculate it. So we have 70 times six. Then we also have a padding from each side of the button. So we just go five. This is the padding times seven because we have seven paddings. And I would definitely rec recommend you use this kind of calculation every time you can, because now it is perfectly sized according to our buttons. And if I go to the game view, damn, that looks good. But now it's just a hot bar. It does not do anything. So first off switch the item inventory parent off 
and let's start working on the functionality. The next thing you want to do is go to the scripts folder, right click and create a new C sharp script. And let's call this just the hotbar controller and drag and drop it on the hotbar parent right here so that this object has a grid layout group and a hotbar and the children are its buttons. Awesome. So the first thing we want to do is open up the hotbar controller and let's delete this for now. So we need to get the size right here of the buttons. We could put in six uh, as a static value, but I would rather prefer we don't. Let's make a public in. This is going to be a getter and call this the hotbar slot size. And then we want to return the game object because this sits on the parent and transform dot child count. And as we did with the inventory, we also want a private list to keep track of the item slots. And let's call this the hotbar slot. And this is going to be equal to a new list of item slots like this. We want also a array of key codes. You might not have seen this, but you can also do that in C sharp with basically anything. Hotbar keys like this, let's call this hotbar keys. And this is going to be a new key code array. And let's populate it with key code dot alpha one. This is this is just the number one button above your basic queue. And let's copy this a couple of times. This is going to be the alpha two and so on. You probably get it. And once you have that set up from one to six, we can continue on and let's make a update function. So let's make a private void update. And in here we just want a for loop. So for int i is equal to zero while i is less than hotbar keys dot length i plus plus. And this is going to get us the integer of the key we press. So if the input dot get key down and we want to check the hotbar keys array on the I index. And if we hit something, we want just a debug dot log and then we want to actually return it and also so make a comment use item like this. Awesome. So this is just going to check which buttons we pressed. Awesome. We want to populate this hotbar slots array so that we have a reference to the item slot script on each of the buttons. So let's make a private void function and set up hotbar slots. And this is just going to be a for loop for int i is equal to zero while i is less than the hotbar slot size. And then we just want to go i i plus plus. And in here, the item slot that we want to add, this is going to be the slot. It's just going to be equal to the game object dot transform dot get child on the i index. And then we want to get the component and we want to get the item slot component like this and then just go to the hotbar slots dot add and we want to add the slot that we just got like this if you don't know what we're doing here it's just the same exact thing like we did with the inventory system so i would recommend you go and rewatch that now we are not calling this function so far so let's also make a start function at the top that's good for now okay now if i start the game and hit the first button so number one i'm going to use an the item with the index zero, which is quite all right. Three is going to be two and so on. If I have the six, it's going to be using item number five. Okay, that's quite all right. It works and the inventory still works like it did before. That's good. So let's so let's start working on the inventory logic. So open up the inventory script and in here we have a inventory item list and we also need a public item list. And we are also going to need another list to so just copy and paste this. And this is going to be the hotbar item list. So just change the inventory to hotbar like this. And this is going to keep track of the items that we have in the hotbar. And we also want a reference, a public hotbar controller. And let's call this the hotbar controller. That's it for the variables that we need. And now let's make a function which is going to take care of switching the items. So let's make a public void and call this the switch hotbar inventory, for example. I'm really bad with names, so just choose another name which is better for you. In here, we are going to get an item that we pass in that we want to switch. So item and item like this. So we want to switch this item from the hotbar list to the inventory list. That's quite all right and simple to do. We just want to check if the item is in this list. And if it is in this list, we want to add it to the hotbar item list and vice versa. But we also need to check if the hotbar item list has enough space because we just have six items that we can do or switch around. So we have to take care of that. And there it is about it. So just two for each loops for each item i in inventory item list. In here, we want to check if i is going to be equal to the item that we pass in that we actually want to check. So for each item in the inventory list, check if the item is equal to the past in item. So in here, we actually have to also check if we have enough space. So if the hotbar item list dot count is greater or equal to the hotbar controller dot hotbar slot size, 
then we cannot add it. So let's make a debug.log, no more slots available. And else we can freely add it. So what we want to do is just go to the hotbar item list, dot add and we want to add the item in here then we also want to remove it from the inventory item list so in here we want to remove the item and the last thing you have to do we have to actually update the inventory because this is just going to take care of the back end and if we do not update the ui we are going to get null references which is always a bad thing on item change like this dot invoke this is just a callback function which we used to update the inventory ui in the previous tutorials and we are going to take advantage of that in these tutorials too if we jump into this if statement we know that we found the right item and it doesn't matter if we add it or not we have to return out of it so after the else we have to return out of this function because we don't want anything else in this body to happen we took care of the switching from the inventory to hotbar but now let's take care of the switching from the hotbar to the inventory in here we don't have to worry about the sizes because our inventory expands dynamically and this is already taken care of so just make it for each loop and what we need is just to check for the item i in hotbar item list and if i is equal to the past in item then we want to just basically do the same exact thing like we did here add the item to one list remove it from the other list and then change it but we also have to actually change around these functions so the hotbar item list is going to get the item removed and we want to add it to the inventory list and we also have to return afterwards because we are changing up the lists and with the for each loop we would get a null reference afterward okay that's the switch hotbar inventory this is it for this part of the tutorial because it's just going to be getting way too long i had to split up into two so be sure to watch out for the next one i hope you enjoyed it be sure to subscribe like comment down below and yeah see you in the next one bye